the depths of the Great Lakes is a scene reminiscent of a nightmare. Slimy, snake-like creatures with suction cup mouths lined with rings of sharp teeth and a rasping tongue prey on the trout, salmon, and whitefish that live in these lakes. Sea lampreys are the vampires of the deep. Here's a good lamprey mark on this whitefish. The effects of one of the most notorious of the Great Lakes invaders dates back to the 1950s when the lamprey virtually wiped out the commercial and recreational fisheries in the Great Lakes. A fish is seldom able to free itself from a mouth like this. Since four out of the five Great Lakes straddle the U.S. and Canadian border, both governments are fighting these silent invaders with every weapon they've got. Our battle is, is constant and we can't let up. One of the most important weapons in this battle is lampricide a chemical deadly to the lamprey, but non-toxic to humans, other mammals, and fish. The attack while the lamprey is still in its vulnerable larva stage. Without question, this is, this is the most important program uh, to the Great Lakes. Without this program, we could not make progress towards lake trout restoration. Lampricide is highly effective in small streams like this, but the mother load of spawning lamprey come from the St. Mary's River. Here, a yellow granular chemical called baluside is planted in the riverbed below. It causes the lamprey larva to emerge from the mud, ingest a super concentration of the toxic chemical, and die. Anytime we can reduce the number of lampreys, it's gonna help uh, all species of fish. But even before the spawning season begins, thousands of captured adult lamprey await their fate. This is where the males will be sterilized, one by one, tail first, the lamprey is sucked into the heart of a robotic machine. A biologically active chemosterilant called Bizazir is injected into its belly. If there's a hundred sterilized males in the river and a hundred normal males in the river, females in the river have a 50-50 chance of mating with a sterilized animal and so in effect, we will reduce reproduction in the river by 50%. The sea lamprey has lived in the ocean for nearly 300 million years. It entered the Great Lakes through man-made shipping canals. Anglers and commercial fishermen have been severely affected by its invasion. This $7 billion a year industry is protected by the efforts of governmental bodies to the tune of $20 million a year. Canada spends $8 million a year fighting this pest. It's your concern and tax dollars that keep our Great Lakes protected. So stay informed and stay involved in this daily battle with the silent invaders.